Yo, Bo, welcome to another episode of Week in Review with Mighty Fan. We're going to be looking at the newest uh, drops from the previous week, Mitchell and Ness and Fanatics jerseys and hats. I apologize, I wasn't able to film this as I usually would on Friday uh, afternoon or I guess early evening, but um, some stuff came up. I went out, had had a nice dinner with some friends, so that was cool. And then yesterday, I uh, got to spend a little time with some family, so that was cool too. So I'm actually filming this a few days later than expected on a Sunday, but nonetheless, we do have we do have some um, new releases. Now, last time I checked the Mitchell and Ness site around lunchtime on Friday, I didn't see anything new. I was going to go into this saying, okay, it looks like it's a light week for Mitchell and Ness, so maybe we'll just do Fanatics. But I come on here today just to check, just to see, is there anything new? And boom, we get hit with some NFL Authentics. Now, I haven't seen these. This is the first time I'm looking, just like I'm showing this to you. So let's get into this. One of them in particular, I definitely have some interest in if they did it right. Okay? If they did it right. That's always going to be the... The, the, the big thing, right? They, they have to do it right. So let's take a look. So we got some new NFL Authentics. Now the one on the left I already own. This is the one that came out last, uh, I guess either last year or the year before. It's the Authentic uh, Away Brian Dawkins rookie. I have that jersey. But this one, that's a brand new one. Now they did this in legacy form prior to Authentic form, but now they brought it out in Authentic form. And oh, you can see the shine on those numbers. <sighs> Ooh, the pressed on numbers though. We got that rook that um not rookie. I'm sorry. I'm thinking rookie because of the B Dog, but we got that primetime Deion Sanders Road Authentic Falcons. Ooh. Now let me say this. Let me say this about this jersey, okay? So what Mitchell and Ness usually does is they will take pictures of smaller size jerseys. So this is either a medium or a large. So it's always gonna look a little off. So sometimes you can't always judge just by the, the stock photo that they use because it's a smaller jersey. So right off the bat, when I'm looking at this jersey, I do have an authentic Deion Sanders Road Falcons jersey in my collection. It's an actual vintage authentic. Now I got it from Rest in Peace to Ron uh, many years ago. It's a bit snug on me. It's part of the collection. But I always wanted to get one that was a little bigger that I can you know wear a little better. <laughs> than the, the the bad bay watch you know that i wear it if you see me in it today right so mitchell and ness finally made an authentic in this and i'm excited about this now what i'm looking at right now in this picture i'm already a little disappointed that logo is a little too close to the shoulder numbers right now this is a smaller size jersey so i'm willing to give it a pass as far as i want to see this thing in the store i want to see a 52 size 52 in the store and see how good it looks in comparison right now mitchell and ness years ago made the made the the home black version of this in the 91 version with the 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 25th anti patch i'm a little disappointed that they didn't make this in the 91 uh with that 25th anti patch because that just pops on that jersey um so it looks like what they did well actually they did make a 91 i'm sorry guys 91 jersey but it should have the, the 25th anti patch, I believe, unless that was a 90. You know what? I do have Falcons jerseys right here that I can compare. I want to say 91, though, was the year. It may have been 1990, though. I may have misspoke. You know, and that's not that that's not uh that's not unusual for me. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna run, I'm gonna take a look at that jersey. It could be a 1990. Could be a 1990. They made a, a, a the road the, the road the home Dion and Jesse Tuggle years ago. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna do a little re more research. I'm gonna go run over to my Z bottom rack over here. I do have Falcons jerseys on here, and I'm gonna take a look at the year. And the year. Okay, it's 1990. So I did misspeak. <laughs> I, I'm getting so excited about this jersey. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting years confused. Okay, so this is a 91. So the original ones they did were 1990. Okay, so 1990 would have been the 25th and a year. So I am a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed because you all know I love flair. I love the extras on these jerseys. 
that this isn't a 1990 version with that 25th Annie patch on the shoulder. <sighs> Woo! But um, n needless to say, it's still a hot jersey. I love, love, love the pressed on numbers. Oh, that looks so good. That always looks so good in football jerseys from the time period, right? And it does have everything else. Looks pretty good. The only question that I have is about this, that, that if I can get a better picture of it. All right, let's see if I can zoom. It's tough to do because I have the camera in front. <laughs> so, so as we see, so I'm going to turn the camera and I'm going to, all right, I'm going to have to raise the camera. Okay, so as we see right here, you can see it with me, the Falcon logo on the sleeve. Now, the cut of this jersey, listen, we all know the box cut. Not a huge fan of it. I know Throwback King hates it. He wants those yoke sleeves back. I get you, Throwback King. Believe me, I wish they did it too. But the cut of most of their football jerseys is going to be this boxy cut. It is what it is. <laughs> I wish it wasn't, but it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers sometimes, right? But the one concern that I have, and again, I understand this is a smaller jersey that they took a picture of, but I don't like the closeness of that logo to the numbers on the shoulders. And uh, so I do want to take a look at this in the store. I believe a bigger size is probably going to look much different than this medium that they take a picture of, you know, the, the Nostalgia Boy size. <laughs> Shout out to Nostalgia Boy. Um, that they always take pictures of. But um, I, 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 you know what? I love the fact that they did an authentic of the Road Falcons Deion Sanders jersey. I just wish it was a 90. I wish, and I know beggars can't be choosers. I still wish it was a 1990 and not the 1991. Because the 1990 would have given us that beautiful 25th Annie patch on the shoulder. But see, they, they don't consult jersey heads. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I, I understand Mitchell Ness. You know, you're, you're not as fan of flair as I am. It's okay. But anyhow, we got the Deion Sanders Primetime Road Authentic 1991 Falcons jersey. It was actually a really nice uh, documentary on the 91 Falcons um, some time ago. I believe one of those timeline uh, episodes on NFL Network. And we got the Dawkins there, the rookie, the home, I mean the road, I'm sorry, the road, which I own, which they made a few years ago. Now they're re-releasing it. Um, okay. And it looks like they made an authentic 1991 Brett Favor Falcons too. Look at this. Brett Favre. The, <coughs> excuse me, the the road white, which of course they did the. Oh, excuse me again. That breakfast is backing up on me a bit, but um, they made the the uh, home black years ago, in this jersey, and it's basically the same thing as Dion only Favre. Um, there you go. There's the particulars on that jersey. Very cool. Might have to be a grab for me too, because I have the I have the home black. So you know, you have one, you have to have the other, right? So Dion and Brett will probably be two pickups for me at some point. I don't know when, you know. At some point, you know, it's got to happen. So, but again, I want to take a look at these jerseys up close, and I want to see them in my size, because uh, you know that's going to tell the tale whether or not it's going to be a gra an Insta grab or a grab at some point. Or something that he may, may, maybe we may have to. <laughs> um, and of the two, I would grab the Dion first. You know, Favre really wasn't much of a Falcon. I mean, obviously, his great years were with the Packers. So, you know, but it is nice that they made the road version because they did make the home one many years ago. And it's sitting on that Z-bottom rack over there. Uh, off camera you can't see so i don't know why i said it but uh that those are the three new ones so so far they've given us three new authentics well two new authentics and one re-release we have the eddie george again that's the that's the uh the legacy i got a little excited there because i thought that was an authentic but that's like the, <laughs> the legacy uh away eddie george and we have that guy just staring at us again I don't like that guy. You know why? Because he's wearing the Bo Jackson jersey. If, if the, this picture came up all the way, he'd be wearing it, and he's, like, taunting me with it. So it's okay. It's all right. Maybe he's the guy that sent me the uh, the shoes instead of the jersey. All right, where am I going here? I'm going to headwear. That's where I want to go. Headwear. New releases. 
All right, we have a nice little summer theme picture up there, but we're going to go down. Not a lot of new releases for hats this week. I noticed that uh, you got a couple more of these um, uh, reframe retro snapback uh, collection in the coop uh, for the Phillies. You got the Rays. Interesting enough, they uh, played each other in 08, <laughs> the World Series, which, of course, my beloved Phillies were able to win. You got the Blue Jays, you got the Giants. So there you go, Bay Area Res. There's a, there's a new Giants hat for you guys to cop. Um, the Pirates, who the Phillies are playing right now. I'm not happy that we lost last night, but hopefully we can get the series win today. Yankees, you got the Dodgers, you got the Expos. I, again, I'm just not a fan of the all white hats, but it is what it is. You got yeah, these are, I guess, are cream, but still. Astros and Marlins, various different logos on the front. The White Sox and the Cubbies, the Red Hot Cubbies, eight in a row. Oh my, they're right on our heels too. It, it's going to be interesting. You got the Angels and the O's. How many Oriole hats do I need? I don't think I need that one. That that just all cream just doesn't. I know it's the money dollar dollar bill, y'all, but I, I still, I can't. I, uh, you got the Braves, the Dodgers, and then you got some more NBA ones, Lakers and Bulls, Celtics and Nets. I think we've already been through some of these. Actually, you know what? No, these are new. Uh, that Grizzlies, that's kind of a new little take on the shark tooth, right? So this is like the flame. It, it's not quite a shark tooth. It's not quite a... Uh, um, a paintbrush. This is the hot fire snapback. You know what? That's pretty cool. That's what I want to kind of see in the store. But that that looks really nice. I like the I like the look of that one. Then you got the suns on the uh, on the right. Um, you got your Knicks and you got a Mitchell Ness snap, branded snap. I wonder if they did some more of those hot flame. It's like they te like they teased us. They just did a Grizzlies one so far. That's a tease. That's a that's not fair. That's a tease. All right, so we're gonna move. That's pretty much all for Mitchell and Ness. So now we're gonna move over with Fanatics. I already set it up so that we can see the newest jerseys. Let me um. I may have to zoom out just a bit. Okay, I think we, I think we're good here. Um. All right. So let's see. This is a last week was a big week because we had some more teams doing their throwback. NFL jerseys last week. What do we got here? We got a generic Michigan State. We got Yankees, customizable. We got Mariners, uh, customizable. Maybe I'll move the camera back a little bit. Um, uh, again, another Julio Rodriguez, a customizable Rays. You got Sparty again, uh, generic number one. Yeah. Uh, they, they did put out a decent amount of these, like, baseball jerseys this week. The Nike, I guess, the replica jerseys. Uh, if you wanted a throwback player Mariners jersey, there you go. There's your chance of getting a retired player jersey. McClanahan, so basically these, I guess, are all, like, I guess the options for these are, like, Griffey and Randy Johnson and, you know, Buner and those guys, right? Uh, Martinez, uh, you know. McClanahan, another Michigan State. Um, more... Player jerseys, uh, more player jerseys, a lot of Mariners, a lot of Mariners. If you're a Mariner fan, there you go. Um, I do think it's cool that they started putting the logo on the replicas as well. So you can get the Mariner jersey with the with the uh, alternate logo on the sleeve, where for years they never would do that. But I think since they started putting out the uh, City Connect jerseys, and you can get, when you get the, even the replicas have the whatever patches are on the sleeve. So they started putting that on other, for teams that wear their logo on the sleeve, they started making them in replicas too, which is nice. It's a nice option. All right, let's keep going. You kind of get the idea here. Either customizable or player uh, jerseys, some more soccer jerseys, um, uh, Munich jerseys, um, Barcelona, uh, there's a Fred McGriff Hall of Fame jersey, I did not see a Scott Rowland one made, but they did Fred McGriff, they did a crime dog with the Hall of Fame uh, logo on the sleeve, which is nice, and then they just threw a regular Fred McGriff Braves, because why not, um, 
you're going to have more C. And here's another uh, 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 um, example. So the Nationals have their uh, alternate logo on the sleeve. So for the replica jerseys, you can get that with that too. And I did see them when I was in uh, visiting Slim uh, in, in uh, um, uh, Maryland. Uh, I forget what visit it was, but we were at a Lids and they had like Juan Soto jerseys on sale because he had gotten traded. It must have been last year. And it had the logo on the sleeve even though it was a replica jersey which was cool you know i like i like that i like that they did that um you have more munich jerseys player jerseys just a lot of you know various different things here um we're going to get to the you know past this stuff here because you know we we've seen this we know what this is it keeps going it keeps going it keeps going it keeps going <laughs> Real Madrid jerseys, soccer kits, uh, yeah, yeah, again, summertime, you're going to get a lot of soccer kits, um, and baseball, obviously, I do want to get up to the football, because we got some, we got some really nice throwbacks this week as well, more of the same, here's a City Connect Strasburg, which I own, um, you have De DeAndre Hopkins is now Tennessee Titans, so you have his Titans jersey, replica jersey, right there. Yeah, um, uh, Real Madrid kits. You have um, looks like a USA kit there. Twenty twenty three Academy Pro pre match top. Uh, Torkelson jersey. Uh, Kate Cunningham uh, uh, alternate uh, Pistons. Uh, a random Damian Lillard jersey. Now, they, they did reissue these. Uh, these are the basically the champion jersey for the Denver Nuggets. So you got the Jokic with the Larry O'Brien on the front. So this is the Fanatics branded jersey. I do have a Steph Curry in this from when they won a few years ago with the Larry O'Brien on the front. It's a nice jersey. You know, it's cheap. It's, it, you know, you're not getting it for quality. You're getting it basically just to show, okay, they won the championship and this is what it is. But still, these are kind of cool, you know. And, and uh, if I had some extra funds, I might pick up the Jokic. But, you know, maybe that will be for another day or maybe never, you know. <laughs> you know, we'll see. But they did reissue them. I remember they brought them out as soon as they won and they sold out, like, right away. So they brought some of them back, Jokic, Murray, um, Gordon. So... It's cool. They're nice. Um, you have the uh, Chris Godwin, the Creamsicle right there. Porter Jr. again in the Champs jersey. Um, a Bradley Beal, the alternate Phoenix. Um, some other jerseys there. Number one draft pick. I cannot pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try. <laughs> Yeah, he's supposed to be a really good player, so I'm sure at some point I'll be able to pronounce it. But uh, anyhow, we have more uh, football, just player jerseys. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of stuff, more soccer kits, more soccer kits. Here we go. Here we are. All right, now. Now, with all due respect to the soccer kits and to the random basketball and some player name and number football, here we go, the throwbacks this season for the NFL. So a couple more teams put them out last week. The New York Jets are doing the oh, uh, the away white 80s jerseys for like the New York Sack Exchange years, right? So King Leo, you might be interested in one of these, okay? I know you're a Jets fan, right? Uh, so you got Aaron Rodgers here. You got Sauce Gardner. They had other players too, but these are the first two. And over here we have... The, the Oilers throwback for the Tennessee Titans, Derrick Henry, and yes, I will grab one of those. I'm probably going to grab the Legend version um, in that, and at some point I might grab one of these Jets too because I've always liked the, the I've always liked the '80s Jets jerseys. So you see some more of those: Gardner, Wilson, and Simmons for the Oilers. Oh, the oil, oh, the Oilers. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. They need to make it a pair. Just wear them once or twice every year. Every year. Just like the Eagles, Kelly Greens, which debut 9 a.m. at the Pro Shop on Monday. I'll be there. Hopefully grab my Jalen Hurts, Kelly Green Eagles jersey. Oh, it's 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 a, it's a, 
It's a nas- it, it's like a, it's like a city holiday on Monday. It's it's it, it's Kelly Green Day. All right, that's what it is here because they're unveiling them that the replica versions obviously for sale at the Pro Shop at the Link and the other two locations they have the Pro Shop on Monday at 9 a.m. and I will be there. I'll be there with the fellow Eagle fans whooping it up and wearing our Kelly Green to buy more Kelly Green. So there you go. But I'm so glad the Oilers, the, the, the Titans brought back the Oilers jerseys too. There's just certain teams that just need to wear their throwbacks every year. Like I said, the Eagles, the Oilers, um, uh, you know, the Falcons just with those 90s jerseys, just keep wearing them right. The the Bucks, the Creamsicles, the Patriots, the Pat Patriots jerseys. They're so good. The Seahawks old jerseys. Just keep wearing them. Don't just do it one year and all right, now we're done. Keep doing it every year. They need to bring them back. It should be a staple. Anyhow, we're going to keep moving. You got some more of the Jets. There's a Klecko and, and a fun fact. I have the Mitchell Ness version of this jersey with the with the big patch on there. It's the only white 80s jersey that Mitchell Ness ever made in in, in uh, authentic form, the Joe Klecko, and it has that silver anniversary of the a AFC patch on. Oh, oh my. I don't know why they didn't do more of the white ones. They did all the green ones, but uh. anyhow, we're going to keep moving. Oh, we got more we got more Oilers and there's the Henry I'm going to grab. That's that's the legend jersey. So it's 100 bucks, but it's nice. Looks good. I mean, you know, I don't think you can go wrong. Nice, solid jersey right there. So you're going to get a King Henry in the collection. Oilers throwback. God knows I have enough Oilers hats to go with it. So combo wombo. Hall. Uh, uh, Jets. Oh, look at this. A, Dur a Darrell Revis if you wanted to, do, to, to get a throwback, right? And then they made Klecko. But Klecko actually wore that jersey, so Darrell Revis never wore this. So, is what it is. You do what you do, right? But I, I, I me, no. Darrell never wore that jersey, so I don't think I could do that one. But it is what it is. Earl Campbell. Eddie George. Now, honestly, if you do want to get these, the price point's about even. Maybe a little more for Mitchell Ness. I would probably still get the Mitchell Ness Legacy or Authentics in these, you know. But to each his own. If you want to get the Nike version, it looks nice. You do what you you do you. But um, keep going. There's Mark Gastineau in the white jersey. So Mitchell Ness never made the white one. They made the green one for Gastineau. Never made the white one. The only white one they did was Joe Klecko. Temple Tough. Got another haul. We have more soccer kits here. Who's this? Manchester United. It was a terrible British uh, accent. I'm sorry. Bond. Anyhow, um, we're going to move on. Warren Moon. There's a Tannehill. Talk about quarterback of the past and the quarterback of the present, right? And some Titan fans might wish Moon was still there. But uh, <laughs> we're going to keep going. We have some more uh, Tannehill right there. You have an Angels jersey. Uh, more Manchester uh, you have Willis, Malik Willis, and then we have some more NBA, Dick. All right, we're going to move on, pause, we're going to move on from that one. The Marcus Smart jersey right there, look at that, that's just for you, you, you Adam, Mac, you Boston fans, there, there you go, there you go, as a Sixer fan, I'm so glad he is now in Memphis. Will that help the Sixers out of the second round? Probably not. But I'm still glad not to have to deal with that guy anymore and his colorful hair. Uh, anyhow, we're going to keep moving. There's Porzingis. I'm not afraid of Porzingis. Joel Embiid eats him for lunch every time he plays him. So I'm, I'm happy that Smart's gone and Porzingis is there. Of course, by this time next year, maybe things are different. But at least for right now. And there's a Jordan Poole Wizards jerseys, too, available. Another Willis. We have Davis, Corey Davis. We have, oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Raz, Bay Area. Huh? Which one of you are going to be the first to get the, the, the Chris Paul Warriors jersey? I think Raz might be raising his hand. 
That's what I think. That's I think that you know that's the real that's going to be the real battle question. Will Rez or Bay Area get the Chris Paul first? Which one of them will move on Paul first to be continued? And big shout out to Rez for putting up that great series that he did on his trip to the East Coast. Yours truly was seen making a shot at the NBA Hall of at the uh, the Naismith rather the Basketball Hall of Fame. I made very few, but he got me making one of them. So <laughs> I'll have to uh, open one of my videos with that <laughs> at some point. <laughs> Look, another one that does my heart good, a Marcus Smart. Grizzlies jersey, not Celtics jersey, Grizzlies jersey. Oh, thank you for trading him. All right, so we got Carter there in the JTS, Judge of Jets, Bradley Beal, Phoenix Suns, another Marcus Smart. Grizzlies jersey? Come on, Adam. You know you want one. Come on. Paul, there you can go with the blue one, Rez. Bay Area. Ah, Chris Paul. We got more Manchester jersey. Oh, look at that. Porzingis and the Celtics, the white one. I'm telling you, indeed, he just, Porzingis just get, be sick those games. I don't know. But um, we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep moving. I think that's pretty much it for the new release for bat, for the uh, 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 jerseys. A little more, maybe. I think this is kind of repeating. Man, there's a lot of Manchester jerseys. Holy goodness. <laughs> if you're a Manchester fan, Fanatics, you're, you're, you're not going to – you have your, your pick at, at, like, the whole team. My goodness. This just keeps going. This is a whole page, basically. <laughs> Yeah, now we're up to ones that I, I think. Even the Manchester ones may have been ones we've seen before. But um, anyhow, there you go. And now we're going to go to hats. We're going to look at hats. The last few weeks have been very disappointing for the most part. So we're going to see if um, if this week things got a little better. Or last week, I should say. Um, all right, so as usual, I'm just going to go over here, filter it so it's newest items and looks like we got some tan hats uh adjustable mvp hats the atwood the 47 brand atwood yeah that yeah those aren't gonna happen uh we have a pirate's hat over there that's the Cooper Sound Collection snapback. So that would go pretty good if you have like a white Pirates jersey, like an old school one. Probably go well with that Clemente. Got 71 Clemente. Just as an example. Oh, they restock some All Star game hats, I guess. Okay. I'm not being blown away again so far. This is um, like summertime attire. Ah. <laughs> uh. I feel like I've seen some of these. Has it not been a big week for hats? Yeah, Houston Oilers hat. It really wouldn't go with the jersey, but okay, it's there. Um, at least to me it wouldn't. I'm such a stickler. I need a powder blue hat to go with the jersey, you know. Buccaneers, Creamsicle, Mariners. Of course, we have another cowboy hat, because why wouldn't we have that? Um Nebraska, Colorado. Boy, I really hope these weeks get better for the hats. <laughs> so far, this has been a lot of disappointment. <laughs> this, is, this is dream crushing right here. Look at this. Uh, uh, the A's is all right, but um, a lot of trucker mesh bags, a lot of white hats. Yeah, this is like the summertime attire. Um. All right, so we got we got a Rangers hat over there. We got a couple of Rangers now with Max Scherzer, now a Ranger. All right, he's finally out of the uh, the NL NL altogether and NL East. Because for a while there, he was a National, and then obviously he was traded to the Dodgers, and he went to the Mets. We had to see him quite a few times, and the Phillies, as a lot of teams, didn't really fare well against Mister Scherzer over the years, but um. He is now in the AL. We don't have to worry about him unless the Phillies get back to a World Series and play the Rangers. 
So we'll see what happens. Well, we already did didn't do too good against one Texas team last year, so let's let's not uh, have another one involved. Um, so we got some more hats here. It, you know, I, I just I I. Mm. <laughs> Every week, I just it's because it's, 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 I don't look at the hats. I try to I try to save the hats for this video, this weekly video. I do look at the jersey. I can't help but look at the jerseys, but the hats, I ah uh, uh, okay. I mean, if it's your thing, I mean, more power to you. This is just not hitting me at all. These are just not and the Blue Jay, uh, the uh, the Blue Jays, the Maple Leafs, right there. That's the rope refresh adjustable hat. Yeah. We have some WNBA action here uh, with these uh, the strap backs. All right. All right. One page in the books. Hopefully it gets a little better. I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, okay. Yeah, some of these I think we've seen before. It's like they've... All, re reissued them or what I don't know but like this collection really isn't doing much for me that this uh the the circle script does have a little throwback look but it uh I mean that Rockies one you can't even see <laughs> it just looks like an all black hat it's a Rocky look at that <laughs> You see a little bit of purple, but it, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't it. Yeah. Uh, so you got the, I guess these adjustable all-star hats. They either just came out or they're re-releasing them. The all-star game was some weeks ago, but all right. I know, it's what they get in stock, you know. And if you, even if they re-release stuff, they put it at the top as a new release, but. Okay. Yeah, there's just nothing, you know, even the Phillies, there's just nothing, you know, eye-catching eye of any of this so far. It's, again, another disappointment. But we're going to we're gonna look at what came out week to week, right? This is the week in review, and yet again for hats, it's just like, bleh. Uh, Oakland A's, there you go, uh, Bay Area and, 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 and Rez. Uh, you won't be able to say they're a Bay Area team for much longer, so get them in while you can. Vegas. It is a shame. But that's sports today. That's what it is. It's a big business. Yeah, I, I just, these script, these white script hats. That, uh, uh, you have the, uh, the, the U.S. Open for golf. I've never been into golf ever. Um, the old school Eagles, right there. That's that's decent. I, I think I've seen something similar to that done before, but that was a pretty decent one. Uh, so we got a new fit. All right, what's this one? The new era print under visor. So so you got a uh, another. Uh, um, I get. I don't know if that's another set or what that came out, but. Um, Oh, what's the print in the undervisor? Let's take a look at this. Um, hmm. Yeah. I guess it's kind of like a summertime look or what have you, but I, those just never do anything for me. And, uh, yeah, it's a set. They they made a whole set of them. The colorway is kind of decent. It, 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 it has, like, Miami Vice vibes, right? But... I just, eh, it, it, it doesn't really move the needle. It doesn't really move the needle. Cream, again. It's like white and cream are just so big in the summertime. You see them all the time. Okay. So here it looks like another one of those. That, remember we saw the Dolphins one? A week ago, it looks like they're starting to filter more. So you got the Saints and Jacksonville. So it's going to be kind of like, I, I I don't know if these are true flex fits. Um, let's see what they say. It might be. Okay, it is a flex hat. And it has the logo on the back. I like this set. I do. 
Um, there might be a couple of these that come home with me at some point. So New Era did a whole ver uh, bunch of hats for the NFL and kind of this style. Now, I don't think they had the flex fits. Maybe that's why Fanatics is getting them. So here's the Saints. I like the Saints because it has like a little trumpet-looking thing for the for the N and the O, which is pretty clever. San Francisco. All right, so that's the snapback version of the City Origins. City Origins, that's the collection that they came out with. And you can find these on New Era's site, too. In fact, the Eagles ones are really nice. I might have to grab one of those at some point. I say I like that Dolphins one I saw before. And I like the Saints and Jaguars. Those are it, so far they've they've had some hitters. Um, there's another uh, snap for the City Origins for Kansas City. Um, Mitchell and Ness, you got these cream. Uh, Cooperstown, you know the, the 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 they call it the Evergreen, I guess the the collection. All right. Um. There you go, Snacks. There's Ohio State. Seattle, you got the Padres. Big logo, two-tone. It is a snap. Excuse me, it is a snapback. A lot of tan, too. You see a lot of tan in the summer. And into the fall. Um... It's a, it, that collection is called the Golfer Collection. All right. Okay, so here you got a snap for the Dolphins in the white and teal two-tone, which is a pretty cool hat. In fact, this one, if I were to pair it up with a jersey or combo wombo it up with a jersey, I would probably go with um, Marino and also the, uh, the Duper that I have. Maybe even the, uh, maybe even the 72 Larry Zonka. Because, again, you got that white with the teal, or, or even the Bob Greasy. I mean, any of those white jer dolphin jerseys from that era. Excuse me, I need to take a little drink. <clears throat> the 70s or 80s era, I think I would probably try to combo wombo that particular hat with. See, I, I like Seattle, too. Uh, the Seattle one's pretty sharp. You know, that one I would probably, obviously, large. And if I had a white Seahawk jersey, like a Ricky Waters or something, or Sean Alexander from that era, that would be awesome with it. And I'm trying to think back of the Seahawks collection. I think the only white Seahawk jersey I have from that era is a uh, Steve Largent. Because everything else I, 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 I have is, is the Royal Blue. I do wish Mitchell and Ness would put out more white Seahawk jerseys from that era. Because the sleeves, like the sleeves of the royal blue ones look really nice. But on the white jerseys, oh, they pop just that much more. And I really wish they were more out there. I, were, I you know, I wish they would. I mean, even the legacy form. I mean, look, I, I you know, I don't think they're going to make too much in Authentic. They give us a little collection every year. But if, even if they made, like, legacy versions of like let's say Ricky Waters and maybe a Joey Galloway and you know uh, uh, Sean Alexander and you know it, it, different players not just large you know all the time just give us some more selection of players Cortez Kennedy um, you know some other of those <laughs> even Bosworth right but the jersey itself is hot and it pops and that white jersey for the Seahawks with the with the the weight the, with the logo on this on the on on the sleeves. And how the stripes go around. Oh, it looks so great. And I'll tell you, if they did them in legacy form, they would have my money. Because even back in the day, they were single-stitch numbers. You know, for, for for particularly for like Waters and, and Alexander and Kennedy and those guys, single-stitch numbers. So even if you get the legacy jersey, it I'm not saying it's 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 all it's accurate. But it, it's not like something that, well, if it's double stitch, triple stitched, and they're just doing their generic, you know, deal on the jersey. It actually looks pretty good for those teams that only did single stitch numbers, like the 49ers, uh, you know, like I said, Seahawks, um, you know, even like the Eagles at the very end of the Kelly Greens, they were single stitch numbers. 
So if they ever did a Ricky Waters, Kelly Green, or the white one, uh, that would be very cool. And like I said, if they did white Seahawk jerseys uh, in the legacy form for this era, I mean, I would probably get them for sure because I love those jerseys. And they're hard to get uh, otherwise. So even like a Sean Springs. Um, keep moving. Keep moving. Um, like an old school Braves there. Um it's a Mitchell on that. Yeah, Cooperstown. Uh, you got the bolt there for the Chargers. You got some more of the uh, uh, um, graphite um, collection, I guess, or that's the color. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 new air print under under visor for the Pirates and Mets, San Francisco. Mm. Some more of those uh, trucker NFL hats. And there's the Jaguars and the uh, the snapback. Some more truckers. Uh, so there's the Chargers version for the Flex. I'm not a big fan of that one. I wish they did the powder blue in that, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, Mitchell Ness. I believe that's Mitchell Ness. That, not, no, that's Fanatics branded. Padres on the right, and then you got the, uh, you know, in the middle there, and then the left, you got Angels. Um, all right. Um, yeah. Just, hmm. I was hoping some more of those flexes would pop, you know, would come up, but particularly the Eagles. I really like the Eagles one. I'd be interested to see what color they use for the flex fit. So I think I think uh I think they did white and black on New Era's site for that particular one. Yeah. This is yeah. <laughs> um Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just keep popping up. Uh, what's that? Las Vegas Aces. So that's WNBA. You have a Seahawks. You have a Tigers. There's so many of these trucker meshbacks. Because obviously it's time of year. I'm not a hater of them. I do own some. They are comfortable in the summer. I will absolutely say that. But a lot of the designs for them, they just... Uh, they're like... Yeah, they're very hit or miss. Tiger... Uh, I'm sorry. The, the Rangers... Uh, Rangers again, missed a lot of them. Look at that, a lot of them. It's either that or you got the scripted white hats. <laughs> or those tan hats, right? Yep. Yep. There's my dad's auto model right there, Wisconsin. Go Badgers. Uh, Kansas City, black hat. Mitchell and Ness, so there was a time that Kansas City were black as a, as an alternate jersey, so that hat would be pretty cool with those. And they did have a black hat. I believe it had a brew, uh, a brew, a blue brim. It was a two tone, I believe. New Orleans Saints. There's the white version, the snapback, which looks very nice. In fact, that hat would go pretty good with like Sam Mills and Archie Manning and. Um, Um, even, even, um, uh, the, uh, the Earl Campbell from back in the day or Kenny St Snake Stabler. Yeah, that would, that, that would work. Or if you had a Ricky Williams, <laughs> like Ricky Williams, I know my buddy Slim, <laughs> but it's a snapback. So he's like, oh, I'm no whack back. Where? They do have faded versions on the new era site, but I don't think they're white. I think they have like in different colors. There's the Cardinals. There's the LA Rams, which is a kind of cool one. I you know, that one actually would go pretty decent with um, with my uh, my uh, uh, my Eric Dickerson. It's not Mit uh, Mitchell Ness. It's the, uh, the 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 ripe on Eric Dickerson. That one would go pretty good with it. 
Oh, look, an Orioles hat. <laughs> so Phillies, come on, Phillies. We got to get a win today. We got to win that series in Pittsburgh. I'm not thrilled with the lineup we're putting out today, but, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we can s sneak a win. Ah, uh, can't lose that series. Astros, that's pretty cool with, like, the Astrodome logo on the inside. Seahawks throwback. That looks pretty good. Yeah, the Astros one's pretty sharp. What do they call that collection? Uh, pro, it just, it, I don't think it has a real a name for the collection. It says, Houston Astros Nike Cooperstown Collection Pro Snapback Hat Orange. Decent. I mean, it's a decent looking, uh, decent looking hat. And that would go pretty good with uh, some of the Astro jerseys that I own from that time period. J.R. Richard comes to mind. So, um, All Star Mariners from 01. All right, we're four pages in. Moving on to page five. Phillies hat there. It's a decent looking Alabama hat. Arkansas hat. You have the Reds. Um, Marlins with the All Star Game logo from 2017. It's a pretty sharp looking hat. And I have a um, Giancarlo Stanton All Star with the All Star logo, so that would probably work with it. Well, I do have I do have another All Star hat too, so in hand, so from that year. Uh, we're just gonna move on. We got some bucket hats starting to come in here. We got a. Uh, military fatigue dolphins old school logo hat a, a, a very hawaiian tropic looking mets hat and the old school cubs expos um no oh boy what the <laughs> steelers the color pack hat giants that's that uh, uh emerald looking or whatever uh, hat the aqua pop that's right that's what they called it um texas you got the twins yeah there's the there's the uh, floral the the uh, summertime phillies hat right there uh there's the under visor for the orioles um world series for the royals the 2015 world series hat Fitted. So Rangers like that Astros hat. Those are pretty cool. Actually, I, I like that. I think those look pretty decent. Florida State. More stuff. Magic script. It's a Mitchell and Ness, right? Yeah, Mitchell and Ness. So that would go with Penny and Shaq. Um, UCLA. I think this might be Tampa Bay World Series 2020. Getting close to the ones we saw from the previous week. So, I think. Maybe not. I don't remember that D-backs. D-backs in that style, too. With the kind of inside the logo style. Or word mark style. Alright, now we're up to page six. Again, this is everything that hit last week. Giants again, the inside the script, uh, the, the word mark rather, logo. Florida, there you go, go Gators. A's again, same deal. Uh, Milwaukee Brewers right there with the M logo, from the old school logo. What's that, Texas A&M? Baseball throwback flex hat. That looks pretty decent if you're an A&M fan. Something different at least. Angels old school with the inside the word, the, the name, uh, logo. I always call it like the peekaboo, the peekaboo uh, <laughs> logo inside the, uh, the, the name, the word font. Pittsburgh Pirates. It's actually a decent looking hat. <clears throat> Buffalo Bulls, 
not to be confused with the Chicago Bulls right there. That's the University of uh, Buffalo, their, their logo, which is, yep, similar to the Chicago Bulls logo. <laughs> this is something I heard about this week. The, uh, the Meteor um, set. I don't know if I really like these. I don't. Mm, yeah, I don't. I don't think that one's for me. That set. I did hear about that coming out this week, though. Yeah, just doesn't. It doesn't really hit. But if it hits for you, that's fine. It's just not not something that I would go after. Oh, the Sixers. White hat. Mitchell Ness. All in. Retro snapback. I always like the Bell logo for the Sixers. The old school Bell logo from the 70s. Um, hmm. That's different. That's a new one, I think. I haven't, at least I haven't seen it. The Marquette uh, paint, paintbrush. Mitchell Ness snap. So if you have that D-Way jersey, that would go with it. Particularly the white jersey, I would say. All right, let's go to page seven. We're about 51, 52 minutes into this <laughs> video. And we are... Well, seeing what came out a week ago, right? Mariners. Uh, see, I don't like that. They, they should have done it with the royal blue. Not the navy blue. But it is what it is. Keep moving. Keep moving. Bucket hats now. I, I think now we're up to ones we've seen before. At least, I think. They're looking kind of familiar. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember seeing some of them. Some of them, it's like I, I, I felt like I saw a week ago, and others are like, ah, eh, maybe not. It's amazing how much comes out in one week, though, isn't it? At least for ads. That's great. <laughs> how many ads have came out. And some are reissued, I guess, or what have you, back in stock. But, yeah, it's pretty crazy. The Meteor Mariners. Yeah. But again, I just, I'm not, there's a couple sets I thought were pretty decent, though. I like the, some of those NFL hats, but these, the new fitted, uh, these different styles and sets, I just, they're just not hitting me, you know? You got the Eagles, Kelly Green, always a winner. Major League, how about that? I do have a Major League hat from Baseballism. I, I like it, it's a fitted. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. I never saw a baseballism hat on Fanatics. So that's something different. Yeah, that's a major league hat. It's a trucker style. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Denver Broncos. So that one is cool too. So this one would go with like the 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 white throwback Elway, Atwater, Mecklenburg. You know, the, any any of those players uh, from that era would actually go pretty sharp with them, I think. Something a little different for Bronco hats. And, of course, you got the old, you know, Denver D logo from that time. Like, like the, you know, the 80s. You think about, like, the 80s, 90s era Bronco football. And Mitchell Ness has made a bunch of those over the years. So, But, again, it's a snapback. So if you're not into that, then it probably is not for you. We got the Eagles here. What's this guy? The the what is this thing? Raphael front. Okay. <laughs> it looks like it's kind of a two tone tan and cream or I don't I don't know it. It's not one I would jump on even as an Eagles fan, but um. I want to say that's the 80 Pro Bowl logo because I think I do have that. I, I have that on a Kelly Green Eagles hat. 
from uh, Pro Image. You got the Phillies with the 100 on the side. Got the Raiders in that same collection. Bills, same collection. You got a Seahawk throwback with the uh, well, Seahawks on the side. God, yeah, all these cowboy hats <laughs> every week. It's unending. My goodness. Tampa Bay. Yeah, see, they, they dropped the ball on that. It should have been the creamsicle one. Should have, they should have done something creamsicle with Tampa. But, yeah, it is what it is. Maybe they did. I just haven't seen it. I don't remember. Oh, look, a fox hat. Slim. <laughs> Jurassic Park. All right, you never know what you're going to find week to week here. <laughs> <clears throat> Villanova. Uh, visor. You got the throwback looking Jets. So actually, that one would go pretty decent with those throwback Jets hats. Now, I obviously, I don't like all white hats. But that's the logo that the Jets had from that time period, from the 80s. So that would work pretty nice with the throwback, you know, jerseys they've been putting out. The, the, the road jerseys. Yeah, these are just not jumping off the page. The Rays. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've definitely, I, 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 you can't forget that Eagles hat. So I think these are ones. Uh, I think now I'm getting into ones from a couple weeks ago. I'm just going to look one more. I'm just going to scroll a little bit more just to make sure. Ah. All right, here we go. Unless they, they got more in stock, and that could be too. Um, but I remember that Eagles one. <laughs> you can't forget that one. That, oh, okay, so they, they must have gotten more in stock because this Major League, you know, that wasn't there a couple weeks ago. So you got the Major League uh, snapback version. I have a fitted. It's the same exact hat, although I have in, in fitted form that I bought from Baseballism some years ago. Um. Okay, so there's the Raiders in that style. Marlins word font. Oh, oh well. Okay. A lot's come out in a week. More of like a... More, you know, the Rays before they changed the name from Devil Rays to Rays. And maybe that is right after they changed the name, actually. But they still had the, you know, that kind of look. Marlins. Tigers, it's the Mitchell Ness one, right? Man, 10 pages in. It's pretty crazy. There's your Warriors there, Bay Area Res. Again, the Chargers. Ah, man. Need more powder blue in that. But it is what it is. Yeah. Not really seeing a lot here. <laughs> That's just, you know, jumping off the page. But. Script hats are always pretty cool. You know, the uh, the snaps or whatever the Mitchell Ness does. They look pretty decent. Some are better than others. Like I don't really like that Nuggets one, but. 
you know, for the most part, I think they're they're decent. A lot of fox hats coming. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why, but I don't own a fox hat yet. I <laughs> you would think I would, right? But no, I remember these the the Tampa. I remember that one. Was not a fan of that, but I think I don't remember seeing that one a few weeks ago. So I think I think we are getting close to the ones that came out a few weeks ago. Field of Dreams, the baseball is in Field of Dreams head. That looks pretty decent. People will come snap back. Washington Bullets. Stripped. What in the world is that? Pokemon Jig Jigglypuff. All right. Got some Pokemon hats. You have a Dragon Ball Z hat. Another Field of Dreams. That's moon, uh, uh, Moonlight Snapback. So Moonlight Graham. That's pretty cool. So in the movie, so uh, there was a scene. He, obviously, he was an old ball player, but he had to come back to help to be the doctor. So it shows <laughs> him kind of from when he became, went from the baseball player to the doctor. I, I kind of wish they used the whole body. Like that looks a little odd. <laughs> Just the legs there, but. Arizona Cardinals, all black, uh, the flex fit there. The Raiders, again, all black. All right, so you have some more. Now, see, that, see this? So the snapback actually looks better than this. But this, like, if you got that jersey, like, if you got, like, the, the new Seahawk, right, the, the throwback jersey that they're wearing this year, so this hat would go really well with it because it's blue. And it is a Seahawks, and it's got the logo there on the back, the old school logo. So it's got the old school colors and the logo on the back. So that could be an option for combo wombo reasons for the current, what they're going to wear this year as a throwback. The Royal Blue jerseys from like the, uh, the 80s and 90s into the 2000s. And there's the Dolphins. So we remember seeing the Dolphins. That's the one that set it off for me a couple of weeks ago. I said, oh, I hope we see more. And then there was nothing else that week. But I'm just going to scroll real quick to see if there's anything. If that's just a, you know, re-list or, I mean, a, a re-up re in it. Some of these don't look familiar from a couple of weeks ago. Restock, I should say. Um... All right, so some of this is looking familiar, and then some of it isn't. So <laughs> the Broncos is kind of cool. I like the Broncos one there, a trucker. But the fact that you know that's that's you know it's kind of cool with the gradient of the colors. That looks pretty decent. Syracuse, here you go, Mac. Um, some Mets action. Moving on to page 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen these. I'm pretty sure I went over these a couple weeks ago, but I just, you just never know. You know, they, <laughs> they seem to hide some things. So, all right, I'm pretty confident that these we've already gone over. Yeah, I remember SummerSlam. Yeah, Milwaukee. All right. Oh, that's pretty cool. The white Montreal. Okay, my goodness, 12 pages worth of hats. I'm just going to take a look at the top couple rows, just make sure there's nothing. All right, yeah, these are definitely ones we've seen uh, from a few weeks back. So, okay, um, so that's going to do it for this week. <laughs> In review for Mitchell and Ness and Fanatics jerseys and hats. Now, I think the big hitters so far for me, although I do want to see them in in, in hand in store, were the Mitchell Ness authentic versions of the 1991 away Falcons jerseys, the Dion and the Brett Favre. 
Um, I'd like to see those in stores. I'm, I'm a little curious as to the logo and the closeness proximity to the numbers on the shoulders. I do believe, again, it's because it was a smaller jersey. They always use smaller jerseys for their stock photos. Um, so I do want to see those, those, though, in store whenever they get released. I'm guessing closer to football season in store uh, before I make my 100% decision on those. I, I'm happy, though. I'm glad they made them. Um, they've never done those in authentics before as far as the away white versions. They did the black ones years ago, the home blacks, but not the away whites. I am a little disappointed though that it's not the 1990 with the silver anniversary logo on the, on the, on the shoulders. So that would have, that would have made them pop just much more. But again, they don't consult us jersey heads when they do things, right? Sometimes we do wish they do, but it is what it is. I'm not hating. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just suggesting. <laughs> so I like those though. I like them and and I'm sure there'll be some more authentics to come. They usually, you know, put, put them out in drips and drabs as the season goes on. I think if I remember, they put them out before the season and then around, you know, Thanksgiving, Black Friday time or holidays, they seem to put out a few more. So we'll see. Um... And then as far as the hats go on Fanatics, I do like that set. I like the set of the of of the 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 the, the NFL hats, the uh the the, the uh you know those uh, uh various different snapbacks and some of the flex fits I thought were pretty cool. Um so yeah, it's going to be interesting. I look forward to seeing whenever the Eagles one pops up to see what colorway they went with if they just did all black. I noticed for some of them it was all black, and then some of them they had just one of the. They're they're all tonal. The uh, the um, the flex fits are all tonal, but the snaps are, are two tone. And I do remember seeing them on the New Era site. I don't remember the flex fits on there, so maybe that's just a, something they're just putting on fanatics. But uh, you know, as we all know, I love flex fit hats. So be interested to see which one they do for the Eagles. What color we get for the flex fit uh, for the Eagles. I like that logo they used for the Eagles for the the word for the, the letters. Um so and you can check those out. They're on New Air, New Air's website. They have all the teams on there. Uh Fanatics, it seems like they're getting in drips and drabs. So, you know, maybe by the end of this week or next we'll have all the teams listed. But I do kind of like those. Those that's a sharp collection. Uh some of the fittings are nice, and the fit is what they did on uh New Era's. They have like various like Pro Bowl or uh, team anniversary or whatever logos on the side. So, you know, feel free to check those out. I'm not pulling them up right here because, you know, it's just going to take more time <laughs> and I'm already an hour and seven minutes in. Uh, uh, a little program alert. I will not have a week in review this week because I'm going to be away. I'm going to be away visiting my buddy Slim um, this, this coming weekend and into next week. So, I'm not going to do a weekend review this week for jerseys and hats for Mitchell and Ness and Fanatics. So we're going to have to make it a two weeks thing. So it might be a bit of a long video, even longer than this one. But the following Friday, so a week from this Friday, I'm going to post uh, uh, the next, we're going to call it two weekend review uh, for what comes out this week and next for Mitchell and Ness and Fanatics. Again, just for jerseys and hats. And uh, we're going to see what comes out. And, uh, you know, it's it's exciting. It's always exciting to see new jerseys pop up. Um, and, again, the Oilers jerseys, too. The 80s away Jets jerseys were really nice, too. Uh, I really look forward to the Eagles Kelly Greens on Monday, tomorrow, bright and early at the Pro Shop. I'll be there uh, to pick up, my hopefully, my Jalen Hurts version of it. Um, they don't have authentics. Don't go expecting to see authentics. As you see online, they they don't make them in authentic form. I know people have a problem with it. Me, personally, I don't mind. I don't really go after authentics that much for the NFL um, as far as current teams and players. Um, but I understand where certainly they should be made. But um, like I said, I'll just get my replica, you know, Jalen Hurts. And at least that's one to start, because who are we kidding? I'll probably get a, quite a few of them as the season goes on, because <laughs> I'm so glad they're going to wear the Kelly Greens again. Um, but um, anyhow, I will be doing that. I'm also going to hopefully have another vlog coming out, uh, maybe even as early as later tonight. 
uh, maybe a Burlington, maybe even a Ross. You know, we'll see what we can fit in. I do have to go out a little bit today, do a few things, and uh, I might do a Burlington vlog and maybe a Ross, depending if they got anything new uh, since the last time I did a vlog. But other than that, I probably won't have a Ross vlog uh, th this week. We'll probably put that off until next week. But I do want to get back into that series, and I look forward to that. Um, and other than that, I, I have something coming in the mail, so we're going to have a pickup uh, a, a vid coming up soon, probably within the next few days. Of course, I'll show the Jalen Hurts uh, Kelly Green <laughs> jersey as part of that. So a lot of stuff coming up. And what do you always got to do, right? You got to leave those likes. You got to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon because you never want to be uh, left in the dark for the new releases here on the channel and i thank you all so much as always for all the support to the channel there's plenty more to come we're going to have a lot of fun so we look forward to it and i'll see you on the next one y'all take care happy hunting out there